Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is well. Today, we are going to be getting into some interesting information that you guys might be interested in. It's all to do with how you can be the best trader possible in Forex. I'm going to talk about, obviously, my journey, but how and the things I've learned in trading. And it also depends on what you want from trading. And that's where I'm going to start with, really, because at the start, I wanted to flip accounts and try and not trade, but gamble. And basically, it was where that with the gambling and the flipping I wanted to make as much money as possible as quickly as possible it basically get rich quick and I slowly actually not slowly I fastly learned that you couldn't do that however I kept making the same mistake and I don't know if people are still doing stuff like that in terms of I know a lot of people going for like the prop firms now however back in the day when there weren't even prop firms about I don't believe or, or I didn't know about them. I just kept on using the live account, depositing a thousand pounds and going from there, you know, sometimes depositing five, 10 grand. And I wasn't really making much money. I was using, you know, Forex signals, not going off my own back. And that's something that I could really advise everyone to do. Even if they follow signals, that's okay. However, what you must learn is that you need to look on the charts. If you're not looking on the charts, then you are not interested in trading. You are just wanting to get rich quick. Now, if you're interested in something in life, you're going to put 100% into it. That means you're going to learn the ins and outs about trading, you know, the certain patterns that it makes that you can go off and that maybe give you a better influence and confirmation to enter a position. That's one thing that you can do in trading is using trading view, learning about the charts. And like I said, you can be in a signals group. And when they send a signal, you actually go on the chart, you talk type in say they sell you type in everything and then you look at the trade try and get an understanding where they come from and then have your own opinion on their trade see how it plays out that's one thing that you can do obviously tracking your trades is very important there might be times where you'll never track a trade yes you get in on your history you can see wins and losses but you need to get on an excel spreadsheet put the trade you you entered in put the pair then the entry the stop loss take profit the time and date and track it by yourself. And once you do this, you know, track a month's worth of trades. And this is something that at the start, I used to trade every day, five, six trades a day. How bad is that? How actual bad is that? That's way too much. Now I trade once a week, twice a week, max. Some weeks I might not even trade, you know? And that's just learning over time where I was trying to chase. I don't know what I was chasing, just getting rich quick. I just kept chasing, chasing, but it's not like that. And once you learn, and then once you learn that it's not about getting rich quick, it's just about in trying to enjoy the process of being somewhere you're not yet. Obviously, you have to have a vision. I want to be, you know, financially free trading on a on a million plus pound house. You, you know, that's just my goal. I'm not there yet. And it's like making a million pound trading in a year. Certain goals that I have, which obviously I'm not there yet. And I, and I don't think I would be there yet. I never had that vision. I would be there at 24. But you know, you've got to start somewhere. I started somewhere and I'm now in my position where I am right now. And then who knows what's going to happen in six years time. Hopefully, Forbes under 30, that would be insane. But you know, that's another goal that I'm slowly just setting myself and it could happen, who knows? Um, but in the end of the day, it's not really hard. You know, if I could get a huge size account, you know, and then we go from there, that'd be interesting. But obviously your trading plans, a good thing. Obviously, everyone knows risk management, something that never got taught when I started trading. No one taught me risk management. And I actually, to be fair, I didn't even understand or bother looking into risk management. And risk management comes with risk to reward. And obviously everyone, should know and if they don't then risk to reward is basically the reward that you get from your stop loss to your take profit of the trade so if it's a one-to-one -one, let's say you use 50 pip a sales 50 pip a sell 50 pip take profit if the trade hits take profit you gain a percent if it doesn't and hits a sell you lose a percent obviously you manage your risk during the trade you could do a 50 pip a sell if the trade goes minus 15 pips you close and then you're losing like 0.25, something like that, 0.3%, and you're not even losing a 1%. There's loads of different ways to trade, and that's what I'm just trying to say. So you need to find the best way for your trading strategy. Myself, personally, I look for less trades, but the trades I look for are 20 pip sells for the risk to reward. Obviously, you're gonna hit SLs, you know? It's one of those things that I've had to build over time with my, you know, my mental health, really, with losing trades, because it will get to a point where you would get so down and just be so annoyed with yourself 
about losing that you don't look at the bigger picture and it's something that I've had to mentally really change and rewire myself with taking losses in terms of shit happens I move on with this and I'm gonna go again and it's like if even if you hit two or three yourselves in a, in a row it, it's fine you know it's fine it's 60 pips you'll go again and then one and then you're just gonna hit 100 pips because if you're trading one twice a week, for example, my strategy, then you're not going to be hitting anything more than minus two, which is 40 pips. Then you could have minus 60 pips maybe because the next week you lose a trade. But then the next trade could be of 100 pips, which is 5%. And that's what risk to reward is. So you get plus 5%. You've lost the last three. So three out of four trades you lost. The last one hit 5%. So now you're up 2%. And that's where like the risk reward can, can play better in terms of it might be difficult hitting, I would say, 50 50 pips sell 50 take profit you get one to one there but then the, you can get much more from using a smaller sl in my opinion you get much more percent and if you can be consistent and start getting two three in a row correctly then hitting one or two sls here and there then going again and hitting sometimes plus 200 pips which is 10 percent once you start hitting the 200 pips that's when you start you know making the money man like 400 dollar account 400 thousand dollar account you're at 10%, you're making 40,000. You get 20%, 80,000. 30%, 120,000. That's some big money right there. And anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. If you guys are interested in trading, then the, the Forex Funder, link in the description, open up your challenge account and get trading the challenge. Phase one, phase two, 10%. Phase one, phase two is 5%. This is basically how I did it with another prop firm. And obviously you saw my last video. You saw where I got the Forex Funder Challenge account pass one, phase one pass. Beautiful stuff. And that's just something I'm working towards. Gonna have loads of challenge accounts and then get funded accounts, build up my equity. And that's something that started to come over within the last like few years, in my opinion, that I've seen anyway of like it really blow up with the prop firms. But that's something that I realized with these live accounts, I just keep losing like thousands and thousands and thousands i'd rather lose a thousand pounds trying to get a 200k account than lose a thousand pounds and gain nothing because i'm holding emotionally my psychology is not there so that was something that's been a new thing into the forex industry really which is really good opportunity if you could take credit obviously you can blow many many challenge accounts i have personally as well I'm not gonna stand here and say I haven't. However, the rewards are very nice, you know. I blew loads of accounts, and then when I finally got my account, made a quick 35K, say no more. It wasn't quite a 35K, but I got it to 35K. It was about 27 grand, so that's still really good. And uh, yeah, it paid off for all of the challenges that I failed as well, which is great. Obviously, psychology is a big factor into it, and it's something that I've had to learn. And I was talking about the mental aspect of it, of losing trades, but also just knowing when to shut off, and also being a emotional with your trades and what i mean by that is holding out your trades for longer than your sl so you're risking more percent the worse the trade gets people are doing that constantly i used to do it i don't do it anymore obviously because you know if it hits a sell it hits a sell why would you want to lose more money sometimes you can move sl to like extra five ten pips if you want to but don't keep risking it so it goes up minus three minus four percent because that would just be really really silly and also fomo or fear of missing out if you've heard it like that it can be a big problem in forex trading which is why you got to get that trading plan and stop trading every single day only take a trade if you 100 believe i'm telling you instincts are the best thing every human has and the fact what i'm trying to say is is that there'll be times where you enter a trade you're just entering it because you like trading you know you're 50 50 and in some trades you'll look and you'll be like i could put my house on it i put my house in it and it does come in and those the ones where you want to put your house on are the ones that you want to trade on and that's just something you can learn over time but like now nah, I'm, I'm just making it making it seem like it's good because that's a gambling aspect but you need to be able to control them emotions ditch the shit trades and then start hitting consistently the best trades if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe it was just some quick tips and you know trying to help you guys learn how to trade and hopefully you can take something from this video if you want me to make some more stuff let me know in the comments down below because i'm actually going to start smashing out my main channel obviously we've got tj fx reacts check link in the description go subscribe to that one every two days on there and obviously my main channel i'm going to try like one every two or three days and we're going to see how long we can keep up the consistency for because i owe it to this community but yeah i appreciate the support much love take it easy and i'll catch you in the next video peace